Hello, everybody, and welcome back to, that's right, it's been a while, Hoi for A to Z, the series where I play every single starting nation. <laughs> every single starting nation in House of Iron 4. And today we've gone through to the letter R, where we'll be playing Romania, a nation I'm very interested in checking out, as I have not played it in a long while. while. But yes, I'm excited to give this one a go, and mostly because I know that the next few nations coming up won't be, uh... <laughs> As fun as Romania. But before we do that, a quick word from today's sponsor, Skillshare. That's right, thank you today's sponsor, Skillshare. Have you ever thought to yourself that you want to go ahead and learn some new skills or even expand some existing ones? Well, let me introduce you to Skillshare, the online learning platform that has a variety of different classes for you to pick today to expand your horizons. Picking up a new skill or refreshing on an old one, there is a variety of different classes and loads of subjects to pick from. A subject I think you guys may be interested in yourself is James Mura's YouTube for Beginners, which will take you through all the starting steps that you may need to start your own YouTube channel just like me. Although please uh, don't put me out of business, okay? <laughs> Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always watching new premium classes. It doesn't matter what level you're at, if it's a new skill, something you're actually expertise in there will be a class for your level so thank you very much skillshare for sponsoring the video if you want to go ahead and support the channel and also get yourself some brand new skills in your life you can click my link down below in the description to get yourself started on some brand new skills or maybe just go ahead and fine tuning some old skills and the first 1000 my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare to try out so go ahead guys sign up skillshare today you might just learn something new and thank you skillshare for sponsoring the video back to the video where we are taking on the greatest challenge ever put forward in Hearts of Iron 4, trying to have fun as Romania. Alright, we won't be messing around with historical AI focuses, we are just going in normally. I have wanted to do this for a while, as a lot of the nations that were added in, I think Death or Dishonor, Let's just say their focus trees haven't lived up to much. Right, so, a few years back we got ourselves Death or Dishonor, and that gave us a few focus trees for the Balkan countries, like Yugoslavia, Romania, Hungary, Czechoslovakia. Not that great. I think Paradox did go in and uh, give a little few additions recently in one of the other patch, maybe La Resistance. I can't remember specifically where they did change a few things. I, I do remember them saying it was the Yugoslav one that changed. I could be wrong. We'll get to you later, don't worry. Still though, my boy Albania with the Zog Zog. He has nothing but despair and misery, the behests of the Italians. And uh, I think of all the nations that are uh, added in Death or Dishonor, I don't know if Romania is the weakest or Yugoslavia, but Yugoslavia may have just gone updated recently, so uh, we're gonna find out today how this goes. And obviously the biggest thing we're gonna have to worry about is the fact that the Soviet Union will be declaring war on us for Bessarabia. Romania, what are you good for? Absolutely oil. Alright, so the plan is simple. We do not give in to the Soviets and we will fight them like men. Right, so the choices we have is preserving Greater Romania or the Balkan dominance. And I think we we will be going down Balkan dominance as that means we can go ahead and get a few more states before the Soviets do rock up and um demand stuff. That's Arabia be like, <laughs> I'm stuff. <laughs> help. Oh yeah, I forgot the biggest thing we're gonna have to worry about until that, though, is the fact the king likes to spend and party a bit too much, don't ya? And oh boy, does he absolutely cripple our economy. He's taking 20% of our civilians right now. Oh, we might as well spice this up by giving the king even more stuff. You just bought a villa. How many mistresses do want a villa do you have? And all I'm saying is this is why uh, this is why monarchies went out of fashion pretty quickly in the uh, turn of the century. Ah, well, the Hungarians said no to us, and I don't accept. Now, by the state of my army, you may be wondering how exactly this is going to go, and don't worry. 
so am I. Oh, glad to see young Romanian boys are out there dying for you and you're throwing a party. They're not right. All right, thankfully, the uh, Hungarian troops are just as busted, if not more than ours, so we can uh, pretty easily overrun them here by the looks of things. Nice, and I am just going to go ahead and puppet them. I'm not interested in actually taking their land, plus after them capitulating, I already took all their weapons anyway, which is going to be more useful than their land for us. Ah, and after seeing what I did to the Hungarians, the uh, Bulgarians have seen since and also became my puppet. Oh, and they actually accepted us uh, splitting Czechoslovakia. What does that actually mean? Uh, which means we get a war goal on the Czechs, but personally, I don't really want to go ahead and go to war with the Czechs. I'd much rather get the Greeks or the Yugoslavians. Oh, well, uh... <laughs> Looks like they're gonna go do it anyway, I suppose. <laughs> Instead, we will take out our issues on the Greeks. As long as our issue is being uh, probably the incompetence of who would have been our allies. There we go, and once again, we are just gonna puppet them. Not too interested in holding any of this land personally. I feel like this is new. I don't remember the partition of Yugoslavia just being a decision like this, where you have to actually do your claims and invite people. So I invite the Hungarians and the Germans. Uh, gonna keep the Italians out of it for now though. Well, they accepted after we put all of our demands in and that is Yugoslavia very much gone. And not exactly the prettiest borders I can imagine, but uh, it's a little bit more land, eh? And uh, I guess even we could just go ahead and just boom, release them as our puppet. Nice. Uh, so now we have Hungary, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, and Greece as puppets, which is pretty damn cool. So a cool little thing about uh, Romania is you could just go ahead and choose a different bunch of governments all in one playthrough. Uh, I'm going to go start with the Axis straight away, but if we do need to change, I can. And yeah, I've had very much enough of your partying, my friend. Now, all those wars have done us very well, as we are already four into our doctrine already, which is very good, because we're going to have to hold against the Soviet Union. Ah, he did go ahead and run away with quite a bit of our money, though. Yeah, we need ourselves a, a quick get-out-of-jail-free card. We do have King Michael's coup, which will switch us, um, switch us straight from fascism. Ah, right, so here comes the Soviet Union looking for our land, and we are not handing it over. Now, the Germans do want to go ahead and get us to join their faction, but I do not want to do that as I don't want them flooding our land and eating the very little supply that we currently have. Uh, also, I thought they'd get the demand event on us, but no, they are just waiting 520 days to justify on us, which, um... That's going to take a while. Ah, there you go. It finally happened. And that was 317 days into their justification. And I think we are ready uh, to hold them back. Worst case scenario, we'll join the Axis. Yep, so, uh, come on in, Mr. Stalin. Come fight us like men. Yeah, we're holding no problem whatsoever. The only issue I see we have is them logistic striking, striking us. I do have interception up right now, but I do not have a lot of planes. Now, as long as we keep an eye on the front lines and nothing gets too low strength and just keep microing in new units, I think we're going to hold this no problem. Oh, looks like we're going to get ourselves a very early break. I say early, it took them so long to clear on me that the Germans are going in for war already. Oh, which means they've merely gone rid of all their planes over me, which is great. No longer am I losing all my trucks by getting them blown up. So just in that short period of time of them declaring me, I've already killed 300,000 of them, which is Excellent. Uh, I guess we could go ahead and help them with the push now, if we really wanted to. And um, I guess we'll also get in the Axis, which means goodbye, Supply Romania. Uh, I must hunt for new supply in the Soviet Union. All right, our advancement to the Soviet Union is actually going incredibly well. I haven't seen the Germans mess it up too hard, but I have seen the Soviets mess it up very hard. It's uh, kind of funny that the Soviets get both the bonuses for being in an offensive and a defensive war right now. Well, thank you, Stalin. Oh, well, we've already breached Moscow. I say we. The, uh, the Germans have done it. And as we can also see, running out of supply very quickly. Uh, we're still just trottling along down here, trying to make our way downtown, a.k.a. Stalingrad. Uh, thankfully, when things get strenuous, I can always count on the Bulgarians to die for me instead of myself. Oh, uh... That's, uh, that's not a good sign right there. <laughs> uh, we're not war with the Allies, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. 
Um, they do have to worry about if they do capitulate the Germans, though, because then I will just be alone against the Soviet Union. Well, uh, when you're running low on equipment, I guess I can always go ahead and count on my many vassals to uh, send me all of their equipment, and um, also the Germans, but, you know, they're essentially a Romanian vassal. Oh, yeah. That is not looking too good for us. Uh, not much else going on in the world right now. Japanese have declared war on the Allies, and they are still, once again, fighting all of China before doing so. So, uh, we'll see what goes on here, eh? Although, recently, I have seen them pretty much overtaking all of Asia. Pretty much, uh, well, with no problem at all recently. What secret tricks have you learned, Mr. Hirohito? <laughs> is it possibly the supply system? <laughs> uh, I have no idea, but they are having a field day that is for sure they are just everywhere and uh, I think the uh, the free French got that ev event where uh, the Germans call them in or they ask to get Paris back or something and then if they say no the Germans they uh, flip back to free France but um, yeah they're on the continent and it is a problem uh, it also looks like the AI invaded over here the Allies did and then the Italian AI counter invaded their invasion <laughs> so <laughs> I don't, there's many layers to this invasion right now um, Oh, and that is the Caucasus dealt with. Look at that. Now we are the true oil god. Oh, I didn't realize this got up to 147 oil being produced. I hope I'm selling that to the Germans. Oh. Uh. Okay. I guess I'm selling it to Sweden and Greece. <laughs> I always knew the Swedes were to watch out for. What on earth do you need oil for? Have you got planes or something? What's happening, Sweden? What are you planning here? Why are you on the border with Norway? Uh, there's actually not a lot of troops at all left on the border here. So I think even the Soviets have realized that um, supply is about to become a big problem as we go any further east. Oh yes, it begins. Uh, well, the Soviets are pretty much broken completely. Like their troops are just so sparse on the front line. I think I'm just gonna start sending my units in to just go capture VPs and hopefully they capitulate and get me out of this hellhole. <laughs> Please, just let the cavalry unit go. Let the pain be over, Stalin. Oh, God, you see that red? Yeah, that red means no supply. I gotta say, invading Russia is probably just about as fun as it would be in real life. Oh, they've still got so far to go. <laughs> that is so far. Every supply hub I capture off them is literally just crack. Uh, thankfully, we do have our guy who starts off as a logist... Logist... Among us, among us, among us. Uh, so we can actually use the extra supplies, which is helping a little bit to keep us going. And uh, yeah, but we are running out of guns and equipment and stuff like that. Thankfully, I keep just asking my vassals every so often for, for some equipment and they do give it to me. Don't worry, now we've hit the mountains, the real fun can begin. Just die already! Okay, they did push the allies out, but um, I guess we're going for round two down here, eh? Oh god, like, I, <laughs> no one here has, like, just an actual unit that's fully functioning, do they? How do you guys even survive in Russia, okay? If this is, if this is how difficult it is in a real video game, how is it in real life? You just walk outside, you know? <laughs> starve to death <laughs> or is it more of a you know the grand attrition of life it just wears you down over time because i feel like my romanian troops are feeling that right now <laughs> we, we didn't even start this war we quite literally didn't ask for this <laughs> you invaded us it would be kind of cool to see paradox go back and add a bit more flavor to stuff like this like if we could have had a uh, peace out like the finnish get um if we beat or hold back the soviets where you know we, we keep bessarabia but uh you know what, just having to invade all of the Soviet Union's fine too, paradox. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, I think we've actually captured a majority of the Urals now, which is a lot of VPs, and we are still 3% away, so we need more. What are you doing up here, Germany? Why are you getting pushed back now? Oh my god, wait, I don't think I even have player-led peace conferences on. No, I don't. I genuinely just have that many points. Okay, well, I don't really want anything. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll take the oil. There you go. I always thought this would be the ideal rope, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is so stupid. <laughs> hey, I, I guess we are all connected, eh? And I even have what's left of the Soviet Union <laughs> puppeting it over here. All right, so the Soviets declared war on us for one state called Bessarabia. I guess it's two states. And uh, what we took in return was uh, pretty much their entire country. Uh, am I going to join the uh, Axis against the Allies, though? No, because I don't want to be here for another 20 billion years. Uh, I guess the real fun now begins in me trying to uh, get these guys not to revolt and kill me, I suppose. Oh, I get, oh well, I puppeted the, the Mongolians too, but um, it, it looks like the independence movement in the new Mongol Empire cabbage. <gasps> oh no, the, the Mongols are back. Yeah, not too sure how Mao has so much sway over there in Mongolia concerning the uh, current situation, but uh, sure, why not? Yeah, you, you'll have it any day now, allies. Just... Just keep grinding into them. Oh, no better way to end this off than uh, King Michael's Q, eh? Look, the monarchy's back, and this time he's not spending all the money. Yeah, now it looks like we just democratically conquered the world, guys. Oh, no problem whatsoever. I mean, we've got Bulgaria, uh, Kingdom of Greece. We did have Yugoslavia, Shannon, so I'm hungry. We even got the Russians on board, guys, with the, the power of talking it out. And shooting all the Russians. We did have to shoot a lot of Russians. Uh, but hey, that was Romania. It was fun. Uh, I would have liked to have hold, held a little longer before the invasion. But the Germans went in pretty early. So yeah, it was, it was interesting. Uh, again, one of the death and dishonor folks trees are a little lackluster. I would like Paradox to go back and maybe give them a bit more of a touch up at some point. Same with a few other of the early DLC ones. But uh, alas, that was Romania in Hoi 4 A to Z. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you leave a like. Subscribe button. And goodbye. Forever. It's gonna be really ominous if I somehow get hit by a bus now and never upload again. Sorry guys. RIP.